Let's go ahead and crack my neck here. Let me load on in. So it's worth noting this is game number two, guys. There was no cast, there was no coverage of game number one as it was already underway. But we said, you know what, let's catch the end of this. So, oh, his clan, talk about nostalgia, light esports, Jesus. Uh, unfortunately, no longer exists. Anyways, guys, spawning here in the lower left corner of the map. I believe he qualified through the CSL to get here. A guy who was once retired, but back in full swing. The Blue Terran player, Binsky. If you guys have never heard of Binsky, by the way, he was one of my favorites back when Light Esports was around. Him and Kawhi Race were totally cool. Terrans, I'd love watching stream. And Binsky has an astonishingly deep voice. Just side note. But spawning in the lower right. I actually don't know if he's on a team right now or not, but it is going to be the red Protoss player seed, aka Vengeance. Actually, I can tab out and check, because I don't have to worry about it. Uh, he is currently teamless. Okay, cool. Set to confirm. Because uh, I remember, I think it was like Promise or somebody was trying to do a bit of work with him, as far as promotion goes and get him rocking and rolling, but yeah, at the moment it is 1-0 in the favor of seed, guys. Apologies that there is no VOD of game number one. Uh, but yeah, we join in here now. I'm a little bit curious how it went I wish I would have had a little more time to ask the players just for a quick uh, too long didn't read version of game one because in TVP on frost especially how game one went could really influence the way game two goes Blink all ends are a scary thing to deal with and there's no Terran player that I know of and I know a lot of Terran players uh, Who goes like yeah, I totally love holding off blink all ends. That's my favorite thing in the world It's so easy to do no It's always a stressful thing and the only thing worse than that I think are those early Colossus pushes we've seen Stardust do in the past as well So I'm not quite sure what C did do against Binsky, but he came out ahead Now we got to see a very powerful TVP not too many games ago where we had heart coming up and uh you know, I kind of mentioned back then too, Hearts TVP is somewhat unchallenged when it comes to how good versus bad it is. I don't know where the status of Binsky's is, because again guys, he kind of quote unquote retired, but we all know retiring in StarCraft 2 really doesn't mean anything. He's back in the scene now, and uh, you know, if Heart could beat State, I'm sure Binsky could beat Seed, it's kind of my mentality, but again, we'll see just how this pans out. It's not an easy matchup, that's for sure. There's a reason this one is probably the most scrutinized of all of them. You don't hear nearly as many complaints about TVZ or PVZ as you do TVP. And a lot of this is because for both sides, granted, I think it's more about Terran in the early game, uh, it requires a lot of scouting. A lot of really difficult things happen, and uh, if you guys remember earlier too, like, we've heard a lot of other casters, Destiny especially, has been very vocal about this, where the question kind of remains, like, what can you do as a Terran player? What early all-in can you do versus a Protoss that's nearly as deadly? And the quite frank reality is there are some, but let's be honest, three Raxing, Proxy Marauders, these are all things that have kind of fallen out of fashion, and sometimes you'll still see Proxy Factories. There was kind of this hilarious Reddit thread a lot, uh, not too bit long ago with Lily Kanine, and I think uh, somebody named Frozen Impact or something, where they're just discussing this sort of two rack slash proxy factory all in that works really really fantastically well so there are things that within a Terran player's grasp but the reality is you're trying to scout you're trying to react and you're gonna play a much stronger macro game than you ever will early cheese and actually this reminds me too going back to QXE if you guys remember QXE when the swarm came out had a tutorial video about how to two racks efficiently how to two racks properly versus Protoss never really the fun thing to do but with the triple barracks coming down, Binsky's actually opened this in a very similar manner to that of which we saw Heart earlier. The idea is you get a lot of Marines, a lot of Bio out early. And while it is going to be Blink out of Seed, it's worth noting that this is Blink off of one base. A lot of what happened versus Heart, we had State going for two base builds. They hit much later. It's at a timing and where- oh. I was going to start talking about timings, but hang on, put a pause on that, the Reaper dies. Now there's just almost no way Binsky scouts this. He has to play this blind. And- you know, it's Frost. To a degree, you can almost assume this is coming. If you're playing a map like Frost, you're playing a map like Yansu, you're playing a map like Heavy Rain, it begs for Blink Stalker all-ins. Uh, so, starting the Concussive Shells might pay out a little bit better than Stim, but Stim is, of course, the best answer. However, with it being so... I would almost pray that he goes for those Concussive Shells. A second gas has been started and might try and get some Widow Mines out, but... I don't think this is going to work. He goes for Stim. This is... Normally, you would love to see Stim. You'd love to see Bunkers come down. He knows his Blink. Okay, so he's got Bunkers coming from the high ground. He's got a pretty good idea what's coming his way. If he can hold on long enough with the Bunkers until he gets Stim Pack out, Binsky will be good to go. Two big thumbs up. But this is the strength of the Protoss Blink all in. It had set a timing before Stim is finished. Long before Stim is finished. An almost two minute timer. So Bunkers coming down on mass. He's going to have to pre-pull a couple of SCVs to repair the ones at the front, of course. 
and for seed his idea is kind of you know you go from one to the other one to the other you try and draw the army in the wrong spot at the wrong time the SCVs won't be repairing and the mothership core will provide all the high ground vision necessary for this coming in forward though uh, he'll see that the bunkers are up and I want to just really, before this even gets going, guys, you hear so many players go like, how do you stop this? Oh, well, just build more bunkers. Rarely is that the answer, and rarely is that the case. Tech is really going to be reigning supreme here. Blinking up towards the main, he doesn't quite see those extra bunkers, so a bit to his dismay, he can walk past this. Walk past his bunker and get over it, but then he sandwiches himself into an unblinkable, unoutable situation. So, blinks out of the main, decides to put his focus towards the natural. This is fine, because Binsky really doesn't have a lot of forces here, and if he wants to transfer them, well, the first bunker's gonna go down! He'll probably have to evacuate this into the second one. A couple marauders are coming out, but these are exposed. Without that second bunker there, without SCVs to repair, he may just have to yield this base. Lift off the command center, take it down to one. Now, unfortunately, none of these stalkers are going down, but a lot are low. He actually snaps off a couple of the stalkers in the back with those marauders really well handled, but at the cost of the bunker, which means this base is compromised. If he doesn't lift it soon, it will die on the transition. So they're trying to bring it back to the main, a little bit panicked, a little bit worried. Here comes that time warp, though, soon to come down on top of the ramp. You really want to just keep these forces choked back and unable to escape. Throws it down, and Seed is executing this perfectly. I hate this, and I hate him for doing it, but it's being done very, very well, despite the fact that there were bunkers to stop this. Now, unfortunately, the bunkers cover the right side of the base but not the left so blink again could be an option very viable very realistic trying to keep these things from burning down he will get supply blocked if not careful but the nice thing for him seeds killing a lot of units so he's not gonna get supply blocked blinks up to the main this is not looking good for Binsky. He pulls the SCVs into this, but let's not forget the blink cooldown coming off here. Just a second, he'll be able to blink out with these units that are getting low. SCVs buffering for this. Mules were pulled, but down to nine workers and dwindling quickly. This blink all in works out a little too well. Good game well played. It's called and Vengeance, aka Seed. We'll take this series 2-0. I'm tearing, by the way, if you guys haven't figured that out after that cast. <laughs> oh, I just refreshed my chat. Son of a gun. <laughs> this riff getting pressing the wrong buttons. It wouldn't be a cast if I wasn't doing it wrong. But alright, I don't know if that means we have anything else coming up, guys.